This is a project my grandma created way back when. I'm assuming she made it in the 1950s because the fruit basket motif was very popular at that time. I'm sure my grandma had it running at one time, but down through the years it ended up at my mom's house and the clock mechanism had been removed. My mom found it in her storage and she showed it to me and I, I was so surprised to see something she had made. Actually, my mom found a photo of the clock probably right after my grandma finished the project and that's my grandpa standing next to it. So my plan is to get it running again and make a frame for it so I can hang it on the wall of my craft room. To make the frame, I bought a piece of decorative molding from the hardware store. Then used the miter saw to make some cuts. I used Elmer's wood glue to glue all the pieces together. This is the stain I used and it took about three coats to get a nice dark color. I placed the clock mechanism on the back. And there's a hex nut that attaches it to the board on the front side. First I added the hour hand. Then I added the minute hand. There's another like hex nut or something that goes on top of that. And finally I add the seconds hand. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but I got the clock to fit inside the frame. Here I'm adding some rings on the side so I can attach it, uh, some picture wire to those so I can hang it on the wall. It's great to see the clock running again. I feel so lucky that I have an actual project that my grandma created. And I can appreciate all the hard work she put in to doing the cross stitch and creating a clock. Unfortunately, I never met my grandma. My mom told me that I remind her a lot of her mother. She loved to do crafts too. She was always working on a project. Here are a few pictures of my grandma. I know I'll meet her one day. In the meantime, I have one of her projects I can admire in my craft room. From the stories I heard, she seemed like such a fun, loving person. Here she is holding my mom up in the air. I'll be forever thankful that she blessed me with such a wonderful mother. Love you, Grandma.